Hi friends, this is NJ, host on this channel. Finally, we have reached the last part of our discussion on the Adra Nakshatra. In this part, we will try to understand the behavior of the planets, if they will be inhibiting or transiting different padas of this nakshatra. Because like the way each zodiac sign carries the energy of three different nakshatras, same ways even each nakshatra can be further classified into four padas or the four charans. So we will have our discussion on that. And we will also try to understand the different remedial measures which an individual can think of opting if he is going through any affliction posed by this nakshatra. So let's just start our discussion with a quick recap of all what we have studied so far. In the previous videos on this Adra nakshatra, we have already discussed that this nakshatra is being ruled by the planet Rahu. The deity associated with this nakshatra is the Lord Rudra. The symbol attached to this nakshatra is of a teardrop, of a diamond and a man's head. Along with when it comes to understanding the functioning of this nakshatra. So this nakshatra just uh, has a burst of energy. Now that can be used in a positive way where the person will make use of his knowledge, his intellect for all the materialistic pursuit or for the spiritual growth, for the accumulation of the knowledge, for helping others or in a negative way. Person might be possessing a very violent temperament, person will be have a very destructive impulse, person will have a very negligent attitude towards uh, money, towards the finances, speaking out without verifying the facts. So all of those qualities, ungrateful attitude we have discussed in the previous videos. Now when it comes to understanding the behavior of different padas, so like the way each nakshatra is of 13 degree, 20 minutes of space, which can be further classified into four equal padas of 3 degree 20 minutes. So now comes the question, what will remain to be the case if we will break down this nakshatra in different four padas? So as I have already taught you that this nakshatra is spread in the Gemini zodiac sign from 6 degree 40 minutes to 20 degree. So the first pada will be from 6 degree 40 minutes to 10 degree. Now comes the question, what kind of influence of energy we will find over here? I have already taught you guys that it's very simple. All what you need to do is that you need to follow a cycle of 12 zodiac sign. So just because it's the nakshatra number 6 in the sequence and just previous to it was the nakshatra number 5. So all what you guys need to do is that we have to first understand how many count we have completed of the 12 zodiac signs. So previous to it was the nakshatra number 5. Each nakshatra has the 4 padas divided by the count of 12. So this will give us 20 divided by 12 giving us a remainder of 8 which is the Scorpio zodiac sign. So it means we have completed our cycle of 12 zodiac sign in the previous nakshatra till the Scorpio sign and here you will find the energy of the number 9 in the form of Sagittarius. So the Sagittarius Navamsa will govern over here and you can find the influence, the energy of the planet Jupiter in this pada of the Adra nakshatra. So it's very simple. Let's say for example, at the time of your birth, your moon was transiting the 7 degree of the Gemini zodiac sign. So that means that your moon was in the Gemini. Within Gemini, it was in the Adra nakshatra and within the Adra nakshatra, it was in the first pada. So when it comes to understanding the behavior of the planets in this pada, so first of all, the planets tend to remain very explorative, very curious. It's a very happy-go-lucky pada of this Adra nakshatra because this storm is just beginning at this part. So we will find the nature of the person or the planet giving good results at this pada of the Adra nakshatra. And the and you know one more thing because in uh, Hinduism the name of the children you know get decided on the basis of the planet the moon transiting which pada of the nakshatra at the time of birth. So the alphabet assigned to first pada is Ku. K U as in Kuldeep. 
Now comes the second pada, which is spread from 10 degree to 13 degree 20 minute. Now here you will find the Capricorn Navamsa. Now this will remain to be very intense uh, manifestation of the energy of the Adra at this particular portion. So let's say for example at the time of your birth your moon was in the 11 degree in the Gemini zodiac sign. That means your moon was in the Gemini, within Gemini it was in the Adra, within Adra it was in the second pada at the time of your birth. Now like the way I have already explained because you know Adra is also very much vulnerable towards getting uh, too much into materialism. So all the materialistic side, all the intense and the negative side, all of that which we have discussed so far on the Adra will remain very much on this Pada. So the person will remain very much vulnerable towards misfortune, towards negativity, excess of materialism during, over this Pada. And with that said, one thing never decides the whole thing, the placement of the uh, other planets in the chart will also have their say as well. All what we are trying to do is that we are trying to understand the influence, the energy of this individual nakshatra only at this point. So this will remain to be the most intense and materialistic pada of the Adra nakshatra. When it comes to the third pada, which will be spread from 13 degree 20 minutes to 16 degree 40 minutes being ruled by the Aquarius Navamsa. So here you will find all the mental and all the intellectual qualities of this Adra which we have discussed so far, so far manifesting in this particular Pada in the form of person will remain very scientific, person will remain very curious towards the accumulation of the knowledge, all of that will manifest over this Pada of the Ardhana Nakshatra. Planets tend to give very good result in this pada of the Ardhana Nakshatra and just because even the storm which has begun from the first pada is at its peak in this third pada. So person might get sudden burst of inspiration because this is what Rahu is all about, suddenness. So the third pada is all about what we have just discussed and the last is the fourth pada which will be spread from 16 degree 40 minutes to 20 degree 0 minutes. So any planet present over here in this particular part part will get into the uh, Pisces sign in the Navamsha in the D9. So now this is also the Pushkara Navamsha of this Adra Nakshatra, this Pada. So the planets tend to give very good results over here as well. The person will remain to be very concerned, very empathetic towards the need of all those people who are less fortunate than him. So Pushkara Namamsha, uh, good results, good um, auspicious results along with person will tend to remain very empathetic and sympathetic towards the needs of others. So the summary is that within the Ardhara Nakshatra only as you can see the manifestation of the energies in different way. The first pada was all about the happy to go lucky, second pada was all about the materialism. Third pada was all about the heightened mental qualities and the fourth pada is all about the humanitarianism, benevolence and helping others. And the alphabet, the first pada gets the Ku as in Kuldeep, second pada gets the Kha as in Khalsa, third pada gets the alphabet as Na, Na as in Nancy. And fourth pada gets the ch, as in chach or chhatri. So the first pada will get the alphabet ku, ku as in kuldeep, for example. Second pada will get the kh, kh as in khalsa. Third pada will get the na as in nancy. And fourth pada will get the ch as in chhatri or chach. So this is all about the behavior of the adra nakshatra in its different padas. So surgically if you will open this nakshatra, so you will find the layer of energies manifesting this way. When it comes to understanding the remedial measure, if you have to do anything, so all what you guys uh, need to do is that first of all worship of Lord Shiva and that would be more beneficial. If you can worship Shiva in its uh, very uh, you know ferocious form, 
it could be rudra it could be lord bhairava so uh, worshiping lord shiva in its ferocious form in the days governed by this nakshatra which we have already discussed in the previous video which is the 11th day ekadashi of both the waxing and winning phases of the moon in its monthly cycle so will remain to be very beneficial apart from that the beej mantra allotted to this nakshatra is om Im or Om Im, one hundred eight times will remain to be very beneficial in order to remove the negativity if being posed by this nakshatra in your life. And the last thing is even adding colors which are very uh, very like red, green, which have very uh, uh, light and very sparkly shades. This is what this nakshatra is all about. This spark, this storm. So stormy colors like grey. black so adding those colors in your wardrobe taking uh, you know making your decisions or uh, going on a drive in the direction and the days governed by this nakshatra will remain to be very beneficial in order to appease the negativity of this nakshatra so this is all what i wanted to say as my take on the adra nakshatra i hope you guys found my this video informational for further more updates and notification on astrology please subscribe my channel and like my facebook page thanks शिवो हम शिवो